OK, one three hundred five six four six five two. If you would like to give us a call and tell us what's on your mind, you can... Oh, is it really? Is it really? Norman? Listen, if that woman's convicted, instead of putting her in a prison cell, put her in a car, in a car park, in a 35 to 40 degree heat, and we'll all stand around and look at her die. Hey, no, hey Norman, Norman, hey, Norman. Put her in a car. Norm, Watch Norman. her sweat. Watch her try and get out of a car. That'd be good. You die, you woman, you bloody disgusting creature. Norman, yes, Norman, John. Norman. Oh, John. Yeah, this is one for the record, son. I agree with you. I yes. think I think she's a horrible, thoughtless woman. Probably thinking yes, about herself. I don't know. Anyway, we can't go too far with our comment. But it's a hell of a thing that happened. Poor little kids. So I don't, look, I don't want to pay for her, feeding her. Put her in a car, in a 40-degree heat, in a car park, out in the sun, and just watch her sweat. And just go through what her kids would have gone through. That would have been, you know, all that stuff. Yeah. Hey, listen, John, who's the biggest drain on our welfare at the moment? Hey, it's not the dull bludgers. It's not the um, girl, young girls with babies. Guess what? It's the farmers, isn't it? The farmers, the drain on our welfare. I want to know, are the farmers going to double dip? Are they going to go in with the drought and then go in with the bushfires? They would, wouldn't you? All you farmers out there, you're looking for another handout, aren't you? When, when, a, when a baby's born on a farm, they should just go straight on the welfare. Hey, all you farmers out there putting your hand out for more money, draining our budget. Hey, the Fed, the Treasurer must be going, oh, God, bloody farmers. Norman. Oh, here they go. Norman. They their hand out again. Norman. More money. Norman. What, John? The, you, am I wrong? Am Norman, I Norman, right? Norman, am Norman. I right? Norman, hang on. You know, the drought is not the farmer's fault. They're double dipping. They're double dipping the drought and now the fires. So they'll have their hand out again. And there are probably places, all these people out there with fires. Hey, are you insured? Are you insured, people? So, no, you're probably not because you want another handout when your house gets burnt down. You want a handout. Because you don't want to fork out money for insurance like I've got to pay. You just want to wait. Oh, you build your houses in the bush. Oh, fantastic. Don't have your house insured. Your house burns down. What now? Oh, don't worry. The government will give me money. They'll help me build my house. We'll go have a telephone. Oh, let's have a telephone for the farmers. Let's have a telephone for people who have their house burned down. They don't have it insured. We'll just have a telephone. We'll raise millions of dollars and give it to them. Good on you, mate. How, how about getting your house insured? Then we won't have to give you bloody money. Hey, John, I seen you the other week. Oh, did you, do you think they buried the wrong person? <laughs> you were made a couple of weeks ago. You're coming out. I think they must have said, oh, I think we've done the wrong person here. We've got a corpse walking straight out. Oh, and hey, listen, are you going to have Kyle on weekly? I'd love to. Oh, are you going to have him instead of Dale? You can have Kyle on, but Dale's a bit more intelligent than Kyle. Kyle, hey, wasn't it fantastic that he lost his girlfriend? <laughs> hey, but isn't it? And then what about Ray? He's getting married again. Kyle's got another girlfriend. Oh, you know that's what women are like. My God, aren't they? hey, There's Norm, no... Norman, Norman, what? you must you must spend all your days listening to radio and listening to all the gossip that comes out of hey. these extraordinary radio stations. Aren't, aren't women so? Um, I don't know what to call them. They're, they're out there looking for the money. They'll go with Ray Hadley and Kyle Sanderlands. My God, they're nothing more. That, if you hang out with Kyle Sanderlands, you must be really low, eh? You must be handing out for the money. He must just pay these women to make him look good. Because with all the drugs <laughs> and how fat he is, oh, he God, Norman. get it up, could he? Oh, hey, Norman. Your mate Kyle. Foil Kyle. Norman, you really do. What? Don't say you what. You hang like around it. with the best people, don't you, John, eh? Vile Kyle, bloody, and, and all his, and you have him on. If people want to listen to that dickhead, they'd listen to him. They don't listen to him, they listen to you. And then you put this vile, disgusting, fat, cocaine, smoking, whatever, drug-taking, 
bloody hangs around with gangsters, and you hang, you he's one of your mates. Oh, aren't you? Don't you hang around with the good people, John? Hey, well, you go and get drunk with him, John. Hey, hey no, hey, Norman, about, Norman, hey, how Norman, how rich I, you I, are? I, how much richer he is than you, John? Oh, you he, must be jealous. Oh, You're oh, jealous, oh, aren't you? Desperately hey? jealous. You're no, very desperately jealous, jealous, John. Hey, somebody richer than you, and he's fatter and ugly. Oh my God! And he's got it with young women hanging around. John, if you ever lost a princess, you could get a young girl too. That's how vacuous they are. They don't hang around with anybody to get money. Hey, hang around with anybody. Hey, these aren't you charming? Aren't, aren't you a delightful creature? What a what a foul mind you've got, Norman. What an absolutely foul mind. Yes, a, I'm you've right, got a mind like a swamp. But I'm right. Full of John. stagnant I'm thoughts. Right. Full of stagnant right. thoughts. You're not right. You're not right. I am you're, right. You're a nasty piece of work, you know, is what you are. Bump Dale and have Kyle on once a week. Do your five minutes with Kyle each week. Oh, we'll all look forward to that. Everybody, li- everybody liked it. We got so many calls. Oh yeah. And uh, be quiet. We got so many calls, and uh, and uh, his radio station kept playing it. They kept playing it over again because Could his. They put it on because they think you're a joke, John. They're sending you up. Well, I don't mind. They're sending you up, John. I don't, a, I don't, I don't mind. I don't mind. You're a joke to them. I don't mind. Like you're a joke to me, you old fool. You old fool, you old fart. Hey, you're going to... My God, I don't know how you got out of that funeral home a couple of weeks ago. My God, they should have just buried you there and then. Bye. God, isn't he lovely? Isn't he lovely? Wouldn't you like to take him home to meet Mother? What a lovely little creature he is. Dear, 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 I don't know that he's little. I have no idea what he... I would like to know what he looks like. But I have, he, he probably isn't little. It's certainly uh, little when it comes to uh, grey matter. I don't think there's a lot of that there, do you?